Welcome to another tutorial on MATLAB. In this tutorial, we will see the implementation of the plant model in MATLAB. In the last tutorial, we have seen how to create a system equation or a system dynamic equation for a mass damper system. In this tutorial, we will see how to implement the same dynamic equation in Simulink environment. So let's get started. To start the Simulink, we need to type Simulink in the command prompt or in command window. Now Simulink got initialized, so we need to select a blank project. So yeah, selecting a blank project. Once we select this blank project, we need to select two integrators. As the system that we have is a second order system, so we need two integrators. So due to that, we will create two integrators with the default configurations. So let's copy both integrator and connect them side by side. Now let's do the arithmetic operation, which is the addition operation of all the three elements. Uh, first is the applied force and the temper part and the spring part, which are in the form of additions. So there are three arithmetic operations are there. The first one is addition. The second one is subtraction. And the third one also is subtraction. Now we need to collect some gain blocks where we will be defining the multiplication. So first multiplication that we need to do is C by M, which will be related to the velocity. Next, we need to duplicate this block and create different gains for other components like K by M. This is related to displacement. Next one by M, which is related to acceleration or the applied force. Now one by one, we will collect, uh, connect all these. So now one by one, we will connect all these. So whatever the outcome of the system equation is acceleration, which is X double dot. So we need to name the signal X double dot. So this is the acceleration signal. Now, once we integrate the acceleration, we will get velocity. So the integrated part is velocity, which is coming out from the first integrator, which is X dot X dot is the velocity. Then we need to connect this velocity with C by M and we need to collect. Uh, we need to connect the uh, next integration part to K by M. So the second integrator is giving X is the output because velocity integrated will give displacement and X is the displacement here. Next, we need to add uh, some go to blocks. This block is a kind of virtual block, which will just establish connection between the blocks. So, so we need to name it with some tag and then we will just drag the right part and we will get a from block. So it will connect to the relevant part. So we need to add it to the add block and this will be the positive part in the equation. Now we need to connect an input block, which will, which will receive some input or this input could be force. So applied force will be this input and the force signal will come through this port into this model. Now we need to send out the signals from this model. So for that also we need some go to end from, from block. So here V represents the velocity. So we will connect it to the velocity part. Now we will be duplicating and connecting all these blocks for corresponding acceleration, velocity and displacement using this go to end from block. Usually this go to end from block is used to make the model look uh, simpler and less messy. So here V represents the velocity, A represents the acceleration and D represents the displacement. Now we will drag one, one go to block from each of the from block. Let's drag the left arrow, which will be appearing in the blue color from all these blocks. But before that, we need to connect a scope. So we need to go to the files and select the number of ports as three because we have three inputs that is going inside the scope block. And we also need to select the layout. So layout should be vertically all the signals one by one. So we will connect all these, make this scope a little big so that the model will look good. Next, we will drag from to go to blocks from individual from block and assign it to the corresponding places. So this is the displacement. Next, we need to add the velocity. So velocity we will be adding uh, into the X dot. X dot is also velocity. And again, acceleration X double dot is the acceleration part in this model. So we are connecting and 
collecting all these signals from the model as you can see all these blocks which are gain blocks are almost red so for that parameters are not defined so we will see that later on but for now we will make this as subsystem so we selected the entire zone and just created the subsystem and we are now arranging all these blocks we need to arrange the size of the block properly so that it will look fine so we delete the input we, as we will be applying a step input into this so that's why basically step input uh, will change the value whichever we will give the final value at t plus one second so this we are defining as a variable so that we can change it after some time from matlab scripting so every block here is red which is the gain block and these blocks are red because the variables defined in them is not yet present in the workspace so let's define those variables in the workspace so here small f represents the force where we are using thousand newton of force and force unit is newton here next we will be defining damping constant which is five so this is the damping constant again we need to define the spring constant as well along with that the mass so let's define the mass mass as 100 kg let's define the spring constant so spring constant we are taking as 15 here k represents the spring constant now if we go to the model and press ctrl d it will update the model and all these red things will disappear so now it is all disappeared because these values are now available now if we simulate the model then it will simulate and you will get some output in this scope block if you double click on this scope block then you will get some output so we do not know which one is which output so we need to name all these signals okay the first signal is displacement so we need to name it as displacement the second signal is velocity and the third signal is acceleration it will be visible now on the subsystem now we can name all these signals so first is displacement if we name these signals then it will appear in this scope on top we will see that first is displacement second is velocity and the third is acceleration now if we simulate the model once we have it all updated the signal names let's simulate this model now now if you double click on the scope we will be able to see the labels first is displacement second is velocity and third is acceleration so here we are simulating it for a defined mass spring and damping constant and this is the response that we are getting now let's put the force also into account so we need to know with respect to force how this displacement and velocity and acceleration are varying so let's go to file then choose more and put number of input ports as four and then connect it to the scope now dragging and connecting the go to block we will get this signal value at every instant of time now we need to go to layout view and layout and increase the number of axes so now let's simulate this model so we will see this how this force is being applied so we need to also name the signal as force let's simulate now we are getting the force applied which is from zero to thousand newton at first sample time or first second and we are getting the response in this case we can also change the input so instead of using a step signal we can use a sin sinusoidal signal also so let's type sine wave this is not the block sine wave and here we are need to define the magnitude so here f is the magnitude which is already there and this will be a sine wave now let's connect it via the manual switch and also let's measure the force which is we are applying now now let's simulate the model so we are getting the previous response here displacement velocity acceleration now let's apply the switch now the input will change so the input is now sinusoidal force and the acceleration is also sinusoidal usually when you make the models so you need to format uh, the go to and from blocks with appropriate colors this will increase the visibility inside the model so that we will see in the next tutorial how to do that in this tutorial as a summary what we have done we have created the mass damper system in this case these are the inputs that are going inside the mass damper system and these are the outputs that we are getting from the mass damper system and these three are the output so we can measure every quantity that we want to measure in this particular model in case you are liking the channel please consider subscribing if you have any comment or suggestion 
please let us know in the comment box this will help us to improve your experience of learning matlab in this channel happy learning matlab and stay connected thank you